You better stop lying to me right now. You're gonna be in jail. Hey. Put your hands up. Put your hands behind, behind, behind your back. Michael Mitchell. July 29, 2020. A police officer in Louisiana pulled over a car that was speeding along the highway. The car, driven by a young man named Mitchell, was moving nearly 20 miles per hour over the limit. It seemed like just another traffic stop, but this one would soon reveal something extraordinary. Mitchell, who didn't have a driver's license, could already face a fine up to $500 and possibly six months in jail just for this infraction, plus additional penalties for speeding. However, his troubles were about to get much worse. Hey, step back here with me, man. How are you? Hey, good afternoon. I'm Trooper Nielsen, Louisiana State Police. Mm -hmm. reason why I stopped here was for speeding. You know how fast you're going? No, sir. 73 and a 55, so it's 18 over the limit. Uh, do you have your driver's license? No, sir. Do you have a driver's license? No, sir. Then why are you driving? I was just okay. going home. Do you have any weapons on you? No, sir. Uh, it's, just, it's okay. I was just asking. What's your name, man? Michael. Michael what? Mitchell. Michael Mitchell. How old are you, Michael? I'm 18. Okay, Michael Mitchell. M-I-C-H-A-E-L? A-E-L. M-I-T-C-H? E-L-L. What's your date of birth? Is anybody with you? It's just me. You have insurance? All right, show me your insurance. Whose car is this, man? Your big brothers? You smoking weed today? Look at me. I did early. I'm not high right now. Okay. All right, we'll take a look at you. Do you have an ID? Do you have any ID? During the stop, the officer trained to spot signs of drug use, noted a strong smell of weed coming from the car. This raised his suspicions further, prompting him to inquire more about Mitchell's recent activities and whereabouts. Is there any weed in the car, man? Let's don't stop. Step, step here. Step here to me. Look at me, Michael. Look, make eye contact with me. Step out here. Step up here. Is there any weed in the car? Yes or no? It's just a doobie in the ashtray, like, okay. other than it, is Anything like, else? Dizzy. All right. You be honest with me, I'll be honest with you. I ain't looking for no roach. You hear me? Yes, sir. Is there anything else in there? Dizzy, I promise. Okay, it's in the ashtray? In that yes, cup sir. thing? Yes, sir. Anything else? Dizzy. Okay, When's the, when did you puff last? This is be loud. honest. I'm a drug recognition expert. About an hour ago. Okay. Okay. We're we're gonna, we're, I'm going to look at you, but all right, where are you headed right now? I was headed to, I was headed back home. Mitchell's answers were evasive and inconsistent. He struggled to provide a clear destination or home address, and when asked directly, he could not even recall how to navigate to his own house. Where's home? What's your address? No, stop, stop. Come here. Where do you live? It's easy. It's easy to answer this. Where do you live? Do you, you don't know how to drive to your house? I was coming from there, how I got lost. So what's the address? No. What? You don't know your address? No, sir. I'm okay, come back here. Come back here. All right, prop up on this bumper right here, okay? Just sit down right here, okay? All right. This behavior prompted the officer to ask for permission to search the car. Mitchell agreed, though he seemed increasingly anxious. You've admitted there's there's a small amount of in the car, and I've smelled it. It's probable cause. Can I take a look in your car? It's yes or no? Yes, sir. Okay. Okay. All right. But there's nothing else in there? No weapons? Please nothing? Sir. Okay. It's your brother's car? Yes, it's your brother's car? Hey, come here. Put that, put that phone on that hood. hood. You know, you ain't gonna sit here and be texting behind my back while I'm sitting here in this car. Get on that, get on that car. The initial search of the car's front seats revealed nothing unusual. All right, now, step here. 
However, the outside of the car told a different story. It bore multiple bullet holes on the left side, indicating recent and violent activity. When did all this happen? When did all that happen? That happened. When? My brother, he said it How happened. How long ago? Like, Days? Yeah, it was like, Okay, days. come back. Just leave this here. Come back here. Just stay right here in front of my car. Is this your wrench? As the officer dug deeper, the situation became more tangled. The car's registration details did not match Mitchell's provided information. It was registered in another name and to an address in a different city than the one Mitchell claimed as his home. All right, Michael Mitchell, 1602. Hey, it's Jesse again. I'm sorry to bother you. I got this car speeding 73 and 55. It's a black and orange Camaro. It's got like three bullet holes in the left side of it. He said he thinks his brother said that his car was in something two nights ago. Now he says he lives in Winsboro, but he's got a Richwood address and the car comes back out of Monroe and he's got this, uh, he's got a GPS thing put in, but he don't even know the address. So he's lying about a bunch of junk. If you found today's video informative, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for more interested true crime stories and share our channel. Where do you live? Be honest to me. Monroe? Yes, sir. Richwood? Yes, you don't live in Winsboro. Yes, Why would you try to bluff me on that? Why would you lie to me on that? Because I already knew that before this guy said something. What's up? Talk to me. You better stop lying to me right now or you're going to be in jail. I'm just going, I'm just going to my sister's house. To your sister's? That's the last freaking lie you better tell me. As the officer tried to piece together the case, another unexpected twist occurred. A stranger arrived on the scene, urgently stating that his family had been looking for Mitchell, referring to him by a different name and adding layers of mystery to the already confusing scenario. His family in Monroe is looking for him. Oh. They sent me out here. To okay, all right. Well, I got somebody they pulling up behind me, Scooter. What do you mean they were looking for him? They looking for him. The car missing. Hey! Okay, give me your phone. Hey man, okay. He's not given that name though. He's, he's, he's given another name. As they were talking, another man approached and told the officer that Mitchell was involved in a case about a missing child. This made the officer even more suspicious. There's a kid that's been reported missing and that they took the car from Monroe and he lied to me about his last name, I mean his address and where he's from. Random guy pulls up behind me and said, hey, this guy's looking for that kid. I need to know if this car has been reported missing, stolen. And I know he's BSing to me about where he's going. He says he's going to his sister's house down here. If you could, hey, talk to him. See if you can figure out if the sister thing is legit. He said this guy gave him the car. He's got the GPS on his phone on the, on the back lid. He said that's where he's going, and I knew he was lying then. What I'm being told is that the boy who gave him permission to use the car is missing. So he's lying as go looking for the person who owns the car, find out that the, the son of the owner of the car is missing, and now we got bullet holes all in the car. I got you. So something's Something bad. Right? The only thing he lied about was his address in Winsboro. If he's if he's knows something about this boy that's missing the bullet holes, I'd like to at least I guess I'll do as much good contact as I can. He checked the car and saw bullet holes in it, which made him think something very serious might have happened. Like this looks close. Like like bam 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 bam. Yeah. In the board. Okay, see. see, I'm gonna do the obvious thing I want to do. The officer called for more police officers to come and help him. They decided to search the car more thoroughly because they had learned that it might be connected to a missing person. When they opened the trunk of the car, they found a body. It was Michael Robinson who was the missing person they were looking for. Hey. Yep. Put your hands up. Put your hands behind your back. Put your hands behind your back. 
Don't move. Do you understand? Don't move. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say may be used against you in the court of law. You have a right to an attorney. Have one present during any questioning. At any time you choose not to make any statements or answer any questions. You understand? If you cannot afford an attorney, one will be appointed to represent you by the court. Do you understand? Who is that? Who is that? Who is who? That's Mike. That's Mike. How did Mike get there? Tell me. It wasn't me, man. It was. Okay. I just hit him. I just hit him, bro. I did. You just hit him? I did. Okay. Lock, lock this down. Lock this down. F-39 to Region 3. F-39. Get in there. Get in there. Region 3, F-39. 26 is 125-0305712503571. F-39 Troop F desk. Good. Um, need a supervisor out here. All right, I get the guy out. He's super nervous. Uh, he lies to me about his address. He's got no driver's license. He says he's going to his house in Winsboro. Well, I find out he lives in Richwood. I pop the trunk. Sorry, there's a dead body in the trunk. Okay, so I, I'm not. We're, we've blocked. We've blocked in front of the car and behind the car. We've shut the trunk. We've shut the trunk. I have Franklin Parish Sheriff's Office with me. Uh, we're at 82. Okay, we're not. We're we're done. It turned out that Mitchell had not only stolen the car, but he was also involved in a violent crime. During an armed robbery, Mitchell had shot Michael Robinson. Then he put Michael's body in the trunk to try to hide what he had done. The officer had stopped him for speeding before he could dispose of the body. However, Michael Mitchell is being charged for the armed robbery and the second degree murder of Michael Robinson. Mitchell is currently awaiting his trial, but is expected to be sentenced to life behind bars. Thank you for watching and remember to stay alert and informed. See you in the next video.